Kara looked at the injured coyote, rolled up his spear, and was about to stab it down. But in the end, he couldn't bear to do it. After all, in the tribe, he never dared to kill. But after all, it was a wild wolf. In order to ensure his own safety, he found a rope. The wild wolf's mouth tied to death, and then carried him to the river to clean his wounds. The next day, Kada found a stone tool left behind by his predecessor in a cave, and used it to pound the herb and apply it to his injured right leg. When he looked up, he realized that the coyote had broken free of the rope around his mouth. Seeing this, Kada poured water from his water bag into the stone tool, and carefully handed it to the coyote. I don't know if he was impressed by Kada, but the coyote drank it in large gulps. But drinking water is not a long-term solution, but also need to go out to hunt. This time Kada found a hare, and he finally had the heart to smash it to death with a stone. Taking advantage of Kada to build a fire gap, the wild wolf rushed forward to try to tear the prey, but was Kada kicked away. He ferociously eat the rabbit meat raw. Want to declare his sovereignty, the wolf had to obediently lie on the ground, 